If you're interested in owning a cool vacation home or actually relocating to Italy, this video is the one that you can't miss. This summer, I'll be heavily focusing our content on cheap houses in Italy and my lifestyle while living there. If you're new to the channel and don't know the story, they're selling properties for just one euro. I bought two properties and have been covering the process and journey right here on the channel. This video is to ask you what should I cover and to give you an outline on what kind of content to expect. At any point, use the comment section below for questions and suggestions. I'll also share some of the basics on how you can get your hands on one of these cheap properties. On this channel, I discuss living globally along with business hacks and real estate and healthcare, showing you the path so that you can do the same. I want you to be able to go out there and live your dreams of living your life in Italy. If this is the type of content that you want more of, make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a thing. My name is Carl Pierre, and this is ENTP Life. My family and I are going to Musumeli, Sicily to spend the entire summer there. For me, buying a Musumeli was a total impulse buy. I got an article shared with me from my brother saying that they were selling profits for a euro. So I hopped on a plane, I went there, and I really went with the mindset of, I can't go wrong if I'm buying properties so cheap, and ended up buying two properties. For reference, Musumeli is a mountainside or a mountain community. So it's in the rural section of Sicily. So it's like mid-island. A lot of people, when they're thinking about Sicily, are always thinking about the coast. They see the beautiful Mediterranean scenes. And Musumeli is actually not that. It's more or less tucked into green mountainsides. There's sheep farmers. It's really a countryside retreat in my opinion. The town has about 10 to 12,000 people who live there full time and it's very comfortable if you want to have a more relaxed lifestyle. Aside from the one euro homes in Musumeli, they have homes that are considered the premium listings. All these homes are located in the old side of town and these buildings are about 200, 300 years old plus. So these are properties that have been left behind by people who've decided to relocate to a different side of town. And what I think is that for people who are kind of in love with that nostalgic feeling of old Italy, those are the best properties to go after. And of course, since they're not just one euro, they're in better condition. The properties that I bought were 5,000 and 12,000 euros respectively. One is a smaller house, the other one's a larger house. And I felt that that was a better buy in comparison to the one euro homes. If you're somebody who plans on totally rebuilding your home, then the one euro home is probably where you would start because it's more or less a blank canvas. While in Musumeli, I will be showcasing my properties, the cost of renovations, the cost of living, and what you can expect if you choose to buy a property there. Now, I want you to let me know right in the comment section below exactly what you want me to cover and what you want to see when it comes to Musumeli as an option of buying a cheap Euro home. I've been on this journey for about two years now, and one of the questions that I get asked all the time is how much is this costing you? How much did you spend on renovations? How much does it cost to live there? How much are your utilities? How much are your taxes? All of those details, I really haven't noted them down into one set of uh, information so that I haven't actually really looked at those numbers. The numbers are fairly negligible compared to what my month to month spend is. And I'm gonna be tying that all together for you guys once I'm done with the construction and have some time to sit down and look it over. I'll be covering exactly how much it costs me to purchase the properties, what are the additional closing costs, what are the annual taxes, how much my internet costs, electricity, and so on. I wanna be able to give you a clear picture as to how much this is all gonna cost you. Now the renovations, I'm gonna show you exactly how much it costs me as well, but what you need to understand about renovations is that it's going to be dependent on the starting point and what you want to do with those properties. So you could overspend in renovations or you could underspend, you could do some of the work yourself. But while I'm there, I want to be able to show you exactly what I've done and be able to do videos showing you before and after plus the cost so you have a clear understanding of what is the economic or the financial component of these sort of deals. Additionally, people don't realize how inexpensive it is to live in some of the European towns. Because the euro usually trades a little bit more than the US dollar, everybody has this notion that it's so expensive to be in Europe. If you're in the major cities, London for instance, which is on the pound, or you're in Barcelona, Madrid, Paris, Rome, yeah, the cost of living is going to be high, just the same as it is in the United States if you're in LA or you're, if you're in New York. The cost of living is skewed based on the density. So it's sort of the same. I did a video where I said that a couple could live on about 12 to 2,000 euros a month, depending on whether or not they're renting a home or if they own their home outright. And I want to be able to give more texture to that 
after living there for a few weeks to be able to say, this is the true cost of living if you bought one of these homes. So you could come to see that and expect what it's really going to cost you if you're one of the few people who are thinking about relocating there for retirement or if you're starting your life all over again or you're an artist and you're really looking for an affordable way to live in another country, I'll be able to break it down line by line, utilities, housing expenses, like I do for, for my properties in Medellin or Brazil. I really like to be able to share what is the cost of living so that you could know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you decide to relocate there. A few other plans that I have for the summer are to tour the entire island in search of the best beach scene and visit the largest cities like Catania and Palermo. Most people arriving to Sicily for the first time are going to arrive in Palermo. Palermo is the larger, the big city of the island. And it's pretty cool, like most big cities are. There's gonna be more restaurants there, museums, tons of nightlife, but the major airport is gonna be in Palermo. And I think some people are gonna to wanna to stay near Palermo. So I'm gonna showcase what to expect in Palermo and what are the communities near Palermo, which is on the coast, that you can move to on the cheap. Aside from Palermo, the second largest city is Catania. Also, a lot of people do fly into Catania. Catania is all the way on the east side, closer to the volcano, Mount Edna, and it has a different feel than, than Palermo. So I'm gonna be able to showcase that so you can see what those two large cities are like. And if you wanna be closer to the large cities, what you could expect trying to show some of those cheaper Euro homes so that you have more or less options in where you could be. For some people, especially those who wanna be near the coast, Musomeli is not going to be the best option for them because you're about 45 minutes from the southern coast and about two hours from Palermo. So if you really want to be in a coastal town, I'm going to be able to try to show you some of the coastal towns that are just outside the city centers where you could get properties in the cheap as well. I'm obviously going to be eating a lot and doing my best to capture traditional Sicilian food. I'll be showcasing local restaurants and showing the difference between food in the mountainside and food on the coast. It's really unfortunate that most Americans haven't had a good experience with real Italian food. Actually, the majority of the world hasn't had a good experience with real Italian food. Italians really care about local ingredients. And in Sicily, since it's a mountain, mountainous island and it's an island, it's a combination of a lot of lamb and like pasture raised meats, as well as seafood and of course, pasta. So I want to be able to give you a good overview of what you'd expect food-wise. There's some things that they eat in Sicily that they don't really eat in other parts of Italy. And I really want to be able to focus on that so that you could see what are the differences in like the regional food, especially if we're going from the countryside to the coast and then into any of the northern parts of Italy, if I get a chance to go up north to show you how the food changes, how the ingredients change, even how the pronunciation of the foods change. I think those sort of things are quite interesting and to be able to go over that history. So for all you foodies out there, stay tuned for the summer content. It's gonna be rich on food, probably gonna to talk to a few chefs, give you some behind the scenes, maybe an overview of how to make your own homemade pasta. So anybody who's interested in the food culture, stay tuned. We're gonna be covering and taking deep dives into that. In order to give you details on more cheap Italian homes, I'll be reviewing all the details of my own home, meeting with others who've decided to do the same, and expanding my network so that I can bring more properties to you. Since I started this journey, I've met a few other people who are more or less doing the same in Italy. There's a woman by the name of Cecilia who's in Musomeli. We've become friends. She's actually project managing my renovations now. She bought a home there. She's from Argentina and they actually highlighted her in Argentina covering how she's deciding to relocate to Italy. She has Italian roots. I'm gonna take a deep dive with her, talk to her about her experience, what it was like to get residency, why she chose the home that she did, maybe even a tour of her home and going over her plans. There's also Chris, who's also known as Super Savvy Traveler, who's in Calabria, who's redoing properties there. And Calabria is just uh, north of Sicily. It's attached to the mainland Italy. And it's cool because it's very similar to Amalfi, except at a discount. So I really want to be able to meet up with her and talk to her about what her experience has been and give you an overview of that area. I might even buy there. So having these other people, people from the world, really one person from Argentina, another person from the States, giving you two completely different perspectives on what made them move to Italy and how they're managing this huge change in their life. 
Since my in-laws will be coming too, my wife and I will be taking advantage of the childcare and visiting a few other cities in Europe. Right now, we're set on Alicante, Spain, Morocco, and Greece to round it all out. I'm really excited about this trip as it brings me closer and closer to how I want to live my life full time. I want to be constantly on the move, getting the most out of what life has to offer. Thanks again for joining me here at ENCP Life. Like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you know that'll find it useful. Until the next one, take care.